So, Aves, uh, tell us how did you zero in on SpaceX for your first launch? I believe that's Shakuntala. Why Shakuntala, the name? And uh, you also, I mean, the satellite also completed its uh, life and also was brought back to Earth. Tell us about it. Sure. Um, so, I think with regards to the, the SpaceX launch, we are always on the lookout for launch opportunities that work for our timeline and work for our cost. Uh, in fact, if you go all the way back to 2019, the first launch we booked was with Soyuz in Russia, way before Russia-Ukraine happened. This was, I think, three years before that. Um, and when Russia was still interfacing with the rest of the world, because uh, we had called up ISRO and said, hey, we would like to launch a satellite with you. And they were quite honest that, look, we would like to help you, but there is no process for an Indian company to launch with ISRO. If you're a foreign company, it would be a different matter, right? which is surprising. Um, but then the conversation with the Soyuz was, you give us money, we give you launch. And very straightforward. They didn't care if you were students, nothing else. You have the money, you pay us. We will sign a contract with you to launch it. And then in 2020, when the finance minister announced that space would be opened up to the private sector, uh, that's when I got a call from the Department of Space that now that it has changed, we would like you to launch from ISRO. And we're like, more than happy to do that. Always was the intention. Uh, and so we moved it to ISRO, actually, uh, for our first launch. Um, we were supposed to launch in February of 2021, um, but uh, we were not able to make it because one of our vendors didn't really provide what was to be provided, so we had to redo it for the next few months. And then the launch of it was supposed to happen in October 2021, but since ISRO was waiting for the primary satellite, it ended up being November 2022. So the first satellite we built, the first launch we booked was with ISRO, but ended up going the last because of multiple delays. Um, and as a backup, uh, that in case this demo satellite, the first one we are building doesn't work, or if the rocket blows up, because that's a you know, non-zero probability in space. We said we will book it in another rocket. We will book another similar demo satellite, Shakuntala, um, to do that. So Anand was named um, uh, in memory of one of the interns that had worked with us who wasn't with us anymore. Um, uh, so that's why Anand, that was the first satellite we built. Um, Shakuntala was a little bit of a more funnier story because uh, we were trying to raise investment. Um, and one of the angel investors, um, uh, I said, okay, you know, let's close this. We've been talking for a couple of months, if you want to put in money or not. So went to their place. We had a conversation and uh, in return for investment then and there, if you put in this much amount, I will promise you two things. If you meet Elon Musk the next time, we will invite you as well. So you can come say hi. Um, <laughs> uh, and the second one was, we, you, we will uh, name the second satellite after whatever you want. And that was where the first commitment came from. Once you have a first commitment, then it's easier to put around together. Uh, so they agreed and we shook hands there. And so that was where the first money came from. Uh, they chose to name it Shakuntala because it was these two brothers who put in the money and Shakuntala is their mother's name. So it was a gift for their mother. In terms of the launch vehicle, is it cheaper from ISRO or from a foreign space agency? It used to be the cheapest with ISRO up until probably 2022. And then SpaceX came up with this rideshare program where they only take small satellites. And now SpaceX is the cheapest. Um, at you know, SpaceX numbers are public, so I can speak about them. It's about $6,000 per kilogram. Uh, ISRO is fairly close to that, but not as cheap, I would say. So they are still on the lower end of all the rockets, but SpaceX is the cheapest, then ISRO, and then everyone. And the average weight of a satellite is? We launch, uh, right now we have two classes of satellites, a 50 kilogram satellite and a 200 kilogram satellite. But we plan on increasing, but uh, for us, it's about 50, 200, 50 and 200. So why can't you launch them just one by one continuously? What's we can. Uh, right now, the six satellites we're building, three of them will launch with SpaceX, three of them will launch with ISRO, uh, right? The choice for that was kind of not in our hands because there aren't uh, in a, as many rockets going to the orbits we want. So we have to choose the ones that are, as soon as our satellites are ready, the closest launch because we don't want to keep them waiting too much. And second, the, the ones that work within our cost boundaries, which basically leaves only SpaceX and ISRO.